Well, you know, I was, uh, I was looking at my harvest field, the little, little corner where God has planted me, and I began to say, what, what areas of, uh, of our community are we, uh, we're, we're just, we're not reaching, we're not touching, they're, 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 they're possible to be reached, but yet we're not doing it. And the Lord just began to show me that, uh, that we had this university in Midland, Northwood University, and we decided to pioneer a Chi Alpha group over there. Um, so about seven years ago, well, about six years ago, uh, we started taking our Bible study from the church and meeting on campus. And as we began to do that, we realized that there were many students there that were hungry for spiritual things. And so they started to get involved. And finally, we got to the point where we said, hey, we can make a whole worship service out of this. And uh, on Thursday nights, we gather together and anywhere from 50 to 60 people on a Thursday night uh, gather together to, to worship, to pray. Uh, I'll bring a message. And, um, and it's really a time of uh, encouragement for the students uh, that they get to hear a sermon presentation, God's word in their language. And, and the more I spent time praying about that, thinking about that, went over and drove around the campus, it was just like, this is your responsibility. Don't expect somebody else from, from someplace else to come here and have a witness on this university, but you, you take that responsibility, Pastor Joel, and, and I think that's how the Lord led us that direction. Uh, what started seven years ago as students praying on how they could be used by God has now turned into uh, a full-blown uh, worship service a full-blown outreach and we really see the students that have grown up in the church and that have developed ministry giftings uh, get to express those giftings uh, on the college campus so one day when they graduate or they move on from Midland they'll be able to walk into another church uh, having been used already uh, bringing a developed gift and talent and ability uh, for that church that they attend this year um we have seen an explosion. Uh, I think we've seen this year what we've, what we've sown for, for five, six, six years. Uh, the, the, the midweek attendance, they call it Church Reloaded. Their, their church service on Thursday nights is running stronger than it's ever, ever ran before. Just a few weeks ago, they had a water baptismal service. They had 65 students out there, and I think they had uh, six get baptized. Uh, one student, uh, her name is Sue, uh, she's an international student. She has come here from China three years ago. And when she came, her parents told her to be careful of Christianity, to be careful of Christians. Um, she, she was exploring uh, different facets of the college campus, and, and she ran into uh, some people from our group. Um, we have an international student ministry on campus. And uh, we began to love on her, invite her out to fellowship activities, and uh, just, just befriend her. Over the course of about six uh, or so months, uh, our students met with her one-on-one, -on -one, and she really felt comfortable asking some of the tough questions that young adults are going through. She became curious as to why her parents were so skeptical of Christianity. And during that time, she started to explore the Bible. After church, uh, she was in the lobby and she pulled me aside and she said, James, I want to become a Christian. I want to know who Jesus Christ is. We're seeing a lot of good results now, but it's taken a while. It didn't happen all at once, but uh, as we have been faithful and we've stuck with it, it, it has really come to pass. Well, for the last four years, my wife and I have really had a passion to start a, a new church. And the district had called us about the church in St. Helen and uh, said the church was closing the doors and, and really down to just two people in the church. And they wanted to know if I would be willing to uh, oversee both churches. And, um, and I just thought this would be a great way to get our feet wet and to learn a little bit about uh, starting a new church. It wasn't anything I ever asked for. I enjoyed being an associate pastor. I thought I'd be youth pastor for life. Um, it just happened on, on a Sunday morning. I just began to feel a stirring in my heart, and it really stuck with me all week long to finally, on a Saturday afternoon, I sat down with my wife and I said, I've really felt this week so strong in my heart that God is calling me to be a senior pastor somewhere. 
and we really need to pray about it. She gave me a look that said, who are you and what have you done with my husband, Mr. Associate Pastor for Life? We took our team and went over to St. Helen to start the new work and really used uh, kind of a team effort uh, to build the St. Helen Church up. And uh, so I would say leadership has been very important. They were looking for a place that they could call home, a place that they could call a family. And that's really how we've marketed the church in a lot of ways, that we're a church family, we're trying to be in unity. And it really has been wonderful to see how God has brought everything together. We had a, a big lunch that we served out on the front uh, to draw people in. And so it has just been awesome to see new families coming in, people being saved. Uh, I have released our associate pastor, Tim LeVere, to take the church. He is a wonderful teacher uh, of the Word of God and just starting new ministries. And, and we've seen the church really grow and thrive. We did a lot of change right away. We changed the name of the church. We immediately rented a 10-yard dumpster and just cleaned house. We just went through the basement and the upstairs and we just uh, tried to make things new, tried to make them fresh, tried to get a lot, of, a lot of cleaning done in the church, and really to let the church know that this was a brand new start. We were making all things uh, new again. It's a sacrifice to, to start a, a new work. Just the income that goes with that, uh, we've continued to pay his salary uh, for about six months. And uh, also we have released a few of our core people to go over with uh, Pastor Tim and to help him. So, uh, but it has also created an excitement in the people. There is sacrifice, but well, I'm also seeing that it's, it's, it's creating excitement in West Branch as well. We had one young lady come into the church one day and she walked through the doors and said, I'm home again. She had grown up in the church and she had been out of the church for quite some time and now is back again and is thriving and has even begun a new ministry as our women's coordinator in the church. And it's been wonderful to see God uh, in just a short period of time really growing people in the faith, growing them in leadership. And it's, again, been wonderful just to sit back and see what God is doing. This thing of multiplication is so important. You start new works, new ministries uh, to reach new people.